So we're going to introduce the orinoscope into the mouth, just like normal, and trying to find epiglottis. And you're trying to get the best view of the glottis you could find. But even if you could just find epiglottis, you will be able to intubate this patient. That's a Cormac Lehane grade 3 view. Once you find epiglottis, what you're going to do is you're just going to ride the epiglottis with your bougie. So you're just going along the underside of the epiglottis with your bougie. And if you're doing that, you will enter glottis and you will be in the trachea. And that's the key. Now, how do you know you're in? Well, there's two ways that are described. The first one is you could actually feel the tracheal rings and you'll feel the tip of that bougie, that coup de tip rubbing against the tracheal rings. For me, uh, sometimes I feel it, sometimes I don't. What I keep doing is I keep pushing the bougie forward very gently and eventually if you're in the tracheal bronchial tree, you'll get hold up. Either you'll hit the carina or one of the branches of the main stem bronchi and the bougie won't go any further. It'll stop at about 40 centimeters. If you're in the esophagus, on the other hand, it'll keep going. You could place that thing all the way to its hilt. So that's how you know. And once you've confirmed by hold up that point of the bougie stopping, you just withdraw until you're at about 25 and then you'll put the tube onto the bougie. Now for this, you really want a partner. Um, it's really tough to do yourself because one of the key mistakes that's made is uh, taking the laryngoscope out of the mouth. You want to leave the laryngoscope in the mouth to keep those posterior pharyngeal structures from collapsing on your bougie. So you have an assistant place the tube over the bougie, hold the top of the bougie, and this now allows you to advance the endotracheal tube through the cords. Just given the shape of the endotracheal tube, oftentimes it'll hold up on um, some of the cartilage or it'll just get caught on the cords. What you want to do is just rotate the tube counterclockwise 90 degrees and then gently go back and forth and rotate ever so slightly and eventually the tube will pass. As long as you're gentle, you're not going to cause any airway trauma. If you try to jam this thing in, that's when you run into problems. So eventually the tube will start passing. You go into about 22 or 23 take out your laryngoscope, you take out your bougie, and you confirm your endotracheal tube.